Well, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel and my garden. Um, and I wanted to uh, just share with you uh, the last parts of fabrication for my uh, Star Cruiser. As you can see, I've added quite a bit of detailing, not uh, not least the uh, the uh, bridge that I put onto the uh, onto the top. So now I'm going to just give it a coat of primer and let that dry. And then I can start thinking about, uh, whoops, <laughs> so the, the wind got up there. Uh, start thinking about the actual um, uh, uh, painting of it. So yeah, so I'm happy with the detailing on it that we've got so far on it, as you can see. And uh, I'm now going to add some primer to it and see how far we can get with that. But yeah, happy with the uh, overall shape and... Uh, the fabrication of it. Right, onward and upward, here we go with the primer. And there she is, all painted with a primer, and I think I'm really happy with that shape now. That's uh, a really nice uh, Star Cruiser design, if I say so myself. I think uh, um, the scale, it works very, very well, and the uh, the uh, contrast between uh, nice uh, little bits of detail and flat panelling also works to its advantage. So yeah, very happy with that design. I'll just uh, turn it around and you can see the other side. Yeah, there you go. And uh, now as I say, I'm going to start painting it and uh, I was thinking a kind of metallic blue for it with um, yellow stripe marks markings on it but uh, yeah I'm impressed I, if I say so myself I'm quite impressed by that uh, the way that's come together using more or less just nerf parts nerf gun parts which just proves to show that uh, with judicious use of uh, various broken toys and uh, and stuff like that you can produce a design which is uh, very effective okay so that's uh, part one of this uh, video. Uh, there's some other part things to show you and things to talk about, but that's in part two, <laughs> which I'll go on to in a minute. But um, yes, yeah, so I've spent this weekend finishing off this design and uh, very happy with how it looks at the moment. Okay, onward and upward. Uh, let's, uh, let's move on. Uh, before I move on, I think I'll just come in with some close-up shots so you can see the kind of uh, panelling that I've been doing and the kind of close-up work that I've uh, tried to put into this thing. Especially around the back areas here. Once it's weathered, uh, I think all those panel lines are going to come up really nicely. Okay. So uh, I'm coming to the end of uh, my weekend <laughs> and uh, I'm uh, having to go back to work um, long hours during the, uh, during the week. So the weekends are the only time I can actually get up into the, my loft. Anyway, having shown you the uh, Star Cruiser uh, primed, I've been able to get back to my freighter, Star Freighter. And as you can see, I have added some forward looking probes along here. And um, these units here, which you'll recognize from broken Star Wars toys, but uh, they, I'll just turn it around. They are quite good at uh, resembling downward thrusters uh, for uh, landing and taking off and so on and so forth. So this uh, is beginning to come together now on that side as well. Um, the only thing about it is that it's a little top heavy and my initial idea was to um, put these legs onto it. Um, the thing is that I think the center of gravity will still have the 
if I put the legs where I want to put them, which is just about there on the on the on the vehicle, uh, if I do that, the thing will still topple over backwards because I need some more added weight to the front to balance the back. Um, so at the moment, I'm a little bit stuck. Hang on, I'm gonna just change, change the light here so that you can see a bit more clearly. That's better. Uh, yeah, so I'm a little bit stuck at that. Um, I might have to rethink that. Uh, but, um, okay, that's coming along, it's coming on. This is going to be a long build because um, there's a lot more to it. That Every time I add a bit to it, uh, um, another bit starts to present itself as needing <laughs> adjusting. But, um, yeah, that's coming along all right. So, uh, I think I will have to now leave it for the weekend. But I'm happy with the progress I've made on this. But I thought I'd also like to show you um, some acquisitions that I've uh, made uh, from car boot sales. Now, there is a um, a web, uh, sorry, not a website, a uh, YouTube channel called Cut Transform Glue, which if you haven't seen it, I really recommend you to go and have a look at it. Uh, this guy, uh, I'm not sure which uh, country he comes from, but he makes um, uh, robots and um, mechas out of junk. Just similar, similar things to what I do, but he makes robots more than anything else. And one of the robot, and one of the things that I got uh, in the junk shop uh, the other day was this thing, which reminded me very much of one of the designs that he made. Um, I'm not stealing from him because it's a complete. It's, it's, it's he made it from scratch completely. Didn't use any toys, but the shape was somewhat similar. So I'm going to use, do the same in a sense of creating a war droid out of this particular uh, Star Wars toy. Uh, I'm going to take off the top gun and um, re repurpose it, but make some kind of war droid. Possibly get rid of the uh, the middle, the, the middle uh, leg which I'm holding at the moment and have it standing up on two legs like that. So that's one thing that I found in my, uh, in my to, to add to my stash. And the other thing was this one, which uh, is going to be another droid as well. Uh, uh, I don't think it's uh, because I think it has the shape of a kind of um, reconnaissance droid, something like that. So, uh, uh, yeah, another thing that I added to my stash, two Star Wars walkers, which were which were originally, I suppose, used for um, personnel to go in the top of them. But I think they look better as droids. And I'm going to uh, create two uh, droids to go along there. I might even make a kind of diorama from that. You never know. So I just thought I'd share that with you. Uh, two more bits of things that I've found in my stash. So uh, yeah, so as you can see, my uh, room is uh, my room is uh, beginning to fill up again with all kinds of bits and pieces. And you'll see that I also uh, have got these two uh, uh, blasters that I'm also looking at to try and see what I can uh, continue working on with them. So. Um, yeah, it's, <laughs> I'm filling up space again, guys, but, you know, it's the new year and uh, lots of projects to be getting on with. All right, well, thank you, for every, everyone, for watching. Uh, it's a new week coming up, and I will hopefully get back into my loft uh, very shortly. But uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you next time. Bye now.